hi welcome back we are studying select operation in this video so select operation is basically we are selecting a particular tuple or a row from a relation which satisfies a particular condition so we write this select as sigma and we represent the expression like this so from relation r you select something which satisfies the condition theta okay so this is basically condition this is relation and this is our operator select operator fine so from relation r select rows which satisfies this condition theta let's say let's write an example the example is obtain information of student whose cgpa is 9 plus that is greater than 9 okay so it means that from student table that is student relation student select where CGPA is greater than 9 okay so this is our required expression or algebraic expression now the question is what it returns what this expression returns this will again return a relation R whose schema is similar or same as this student for example, if we have a student table, on this table, if we run this expression, this relational algebraic expression, that is, if this is the student table, student table, and on this table we are performing this operation, then what it will do? It will just select select that's why it is called select it will select these rows where condition is satisfied that is CGPA is greater than 9 okay and it will return an expression or a relation having only these satisfying rows okay so it will again return the relation itself having same columns that is ID name and CGPA but in contrast it will have only only two values that is two rows one is ID 2 have name B 9.6 and ID 3 name C 9.2 fine so it will return only two values two rows so that's how it works it basically selects now we have few important things to understand one is select is let's write it down select operation is commutative select operation is commutative what I mean by saying this that on a table that is let's say on relation R if we select something first on given condition let's say select the information where uh, initially I have condition theta 1 any condition theta 1 and then whatever result we get from this whatever relation we get as a result we again apply select on this and the condition theta 2 so this is exactly equal to the reverse of the application that is we apply first on this relation r we apply first this first this select that is select on this theta 2 condition and then we apply select on theta 1 okay let's understand it here if it is saying that first of all it is select select the 
student whose id is greater than 2 okay then in that case first of all these this much rows this much rows are discarded that is id is greater than not greater than 2 okay not greater than 2 now this is our entire whole relation remaining and then in this relation we will apply what is the student information where cgpa is greater than 9 so only one result will come this one if we apply this in reverse that is first of all we do this filter and then again we apply the student reform information whose id is greater than 2 again this will be filtered out and we will be left with only this row right so likewise this select operation is commutative it is proved now here one thing we can note that this condition this condition which we are applying this condition let's write it this condition can be composite condition okay that is we can merge two three conditions that is it can be something like this can be composite let's write it that is we can write conditions something like this on a relation r r we can apply some filter where condition we can write that let's say theta 1 and theta 2 so and we can write either we can use this symbol theta 2 or also we can write simply a and d and okay so this conditions can be composite fine so this is all about select operation so i hope this is very simple and clear if you have any doubt please go to the doubt section and ask your question thanks for watching